Hey guys, Tech Bravo from the shed again. Uh, just another quick update. I wasn't going to do another uh, video until probably Monday or something. My Cohesion 3D package came in today. It was not due until Monday. Thank you, Ray. Man, you're awesome. Uh, so, there's my display. And there's the Cohesion 3D Mini in place. Literally 20 minutes. Well, a capacitor knocked off of this thing, so I had to reattach a cap. But other than that, literally 20 minutes, man. Um, I've got it hooked up. I've been running it today. My separate 12, 24 volt power supply and my external stepper motor are not here. I also had to order uh, one of the controllers for the external stepper motors instead of one of these. Uh, I had a couple of extras here I got with it. Uh, it's on the way. As soon as that comes in, I'll get my Z-axis going. My intention is to run the cohesion board, and this is their recommendation as well, to run this board off of an external power supply, a separate power supply, and I'm going to run my Z-axis off of that supply uh, so we don't overwork this little K40 because it struggles. So the K40 will only be running uh, basically the stepper motors uh, in the machine. So everything else will be handled by this other one. And then, you know, the... the whatever the original stuff was. Now, one thing I ran into is the first thing when I plug my USB cord into here, which I'm not gonna have forever, I think I'm gonna put a Raspberry Pi in here and run LaserWeb server, but if they switch to that new software, if it's better than LaserWeb, then I won't do that, I'll just use USB. Plug the USB in, it powers up, and the display comes on dim. That's before the system is powered on, so then you power the system on. I don't like that idea. So. I contacted uh, the guys at Cohesion on the on the forum, and Ray, of course, answered. I, I think he sits there and watches that thing all the time. Uh, he said there's a trace under here you can cut, guys, uh, and, I, and there's been people on the on the community that's done it. Be careful cutting that trace uh, for the five volt on the uh, USB connection because the SD card uh, traces are right there with it, and if you cut those, you could be screwed. So. What I opted to do was slice this cable open and find the red wire and snip it. So that's what I did. That solved my power problem, and a cable is a whole lot cheaper than having to replace a board. So I'd recommend you guys do it that way if you're going to do it. Got rid of that manifold that I was talking about. So all that's good. I'm working on my control panel now uh, until the rest of the stuff comes in. Uh, none, of the, none of the files I could find online would fit really well. So I came up with my own. I measured that control panel uh, millimeter by millimeter and figured it all out. And through trial and error, I have a darn near perfect fit on this. I'm going to make these files available to you guys. Um, so I told you I was going to do this in blue acrylic. Uh, I want to thank... Uh, let me pull him up real quick. Anyway, uh, here's my control panel. Uh, that's my control panel that I'm designing. I'm going to make this available to you as well. You can use just the part for the display for you cohesion guys. Uh, if you want to do the whole thing, that's fine too. I want to make sure it'll be right before I get it out. Been playing with LaserWeb. And like I say, if this new one they're going to start recommending can top LaserWeb, man, we're in for some treat. Uh, I've learned quite a bit about this through trial and error. Been, been cutting with it all day. Uh, cutting templates. I have a whole trash can full of paper templates for this control panel. Um, I talked in my previous video about how I was going to label this thing and I said I was going to try to cut it out with my laser, my, my uh, vinyl cutter. Well, you know, um, let me, all righty. Well, let me well pull it up. Away. If I can find it, where'd he go? Um, I got a comment from David Allen France. David, hey man. All right, look, and I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I'm I'm glad. Uh, he suggested etching them through the masking and then paint it and remove the tape. Well, derp, I've even done that before. I don't know what's going on, but thank you for jogging my brain. Thank you for the idea so I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I'll do that. I appreciate it, David. 
Um, I'm gonna keep messing with this stuff. When I get this file ready, I'll have it to you. Getting even more excited. Can't wait to get this Z-axis installed. And I'm gonna be ready to rock and roll at the beginning of the year. So stay tuned for more. Do me a favor, click that little B in the right, bottom right and uh, hover over it and you'll see a subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel and uh, go to techbravo.net and uh, go to the knowledge base in the client area and check out the K40 knowledge base. Have fun guys, catch you later. Man, shed quarters is messy. I'll worry about that later. Tech Bravo out.